What's up everybody? It's Nick from Who Dat Travel. Now we are at Mickey's very merry Christmas party tonight. Well, and of course, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. So let's see what we can't find and see what's better, Halloween or Christmas, here at Disney World. Now we have, of course, picked up our little pamphlet here to see what all is included here. And they are pushing us to the little entrance over here. Now, of course, for the Very Merry Christmas, they have unlimited hot chocolate and cookies. So we are going to go through and, uh, of course, get some of those. But we're going to see, you know, which party is better. I always hear it. Uh, now, of course, they've got Snope here. Well, fake snow for Florida. Whereas they don't have that for, to, for uh, Halloween. So we're going to go. We're going to have some fun. And we are gonna prioritize the things that are here for Christmas, not just the rides. Now there are some ride overlays that we're gonna definitely try to go on and just overall enjoy this party. So here we go. All right, so I was wrong. That is not our first cookie of the night. That is our ornament. Very cool. All right, so we don't get that at the Halloween party. You get a bag instead. At the Christmas party, instead of having a trick-or-treat line, because oh, that wouldn't just fit in, you get cookies, Christmas cookies, of course, and also eggnog and hot chocolate. So all you care to enjoy. Now we are at the first one at Tortuga Taverns here, and so they're doing eggnog and cookies. So we're gonna find out which ones they are. So we have ended up with a sugar cookie. Well, it didn't have the bite out of it earlier. And we have found out that little man likes eggnog. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we got at the first stop at Tortuga Taverns. Of course they do have meat Santa. So we are going to go ahead and wait in line. And there's a, a decent line to main, the main man in red. And for once I'm not talking about Mickey. So we're going to go see Santa and just uh, let him know what we want for Christmas. I want a hippopotamus. Heading in for another treat, and we are at... So as I said, we are having another hot chocolate stop. Well, we had the eggnog before, but hot chocolate and a snickerdoodle. Not bad, I'm actually not a giant snickerdoodle fan. I know, I know. But uh, it's actually pretty good, really really soft. Yeah, they're, they're cold, they're, yeah, it's kind of, it's cold. It's cold. It's a good uh, good mix with the hot chocolate. So after this, we are heading over to some of the overlays. Now the overlays that they have right now are the teacups. And a strange one that I'm excited about actually is this Tomorrowland Speedway. Now they decorate, as you can see, the Speedway for Christmas. And there's lights everywhere. There's trees. It's a lot of fun. And of course, to let the little guy drive is even better. So, and after that, we also are going to be doing Space Mountain. And of course, right now, you can't film in Space Mountain. They did release a new rule about that. But they do have a lot of red and green lights, and it is a really fun time. They also have done the outside of Space Mountain, and they've got a lot of different lights there, which is a lot of fun to do, be able to see and go through and just have some holiday fun. Now I have to say that the overlay for Space Mountain for Christmas is one of the ultimate overlays for any ride. Uh, you actually get to see more of Space Mountain and realize just how packed in things really are. The lights are growing and actually I'm showing footage from when we were on the People Mover to be able to see it and still film. So it is really, really cool uh, to be able to do. So on this one, uh, yeah, Christmas definitely wins out on this one. Of course, there is entertainment. We've got the stage in Tomorrowland has a cute little show with Buzz and Stitch and a whole bunch of other characters. And then there are also alternating some singers. So it is a lot of fun to be able to go to. Of course, they do have this type of thing at Halloween as well. So it's kind of a draw on what has the better point there. 
some of the other magic that is here that I have never seen at the Halloween party are the artists that conveniently look like the custodial staff. Uh, here is Stitch and Minnie. I have never seen these. So again, here's another one that the Christmas party is edging out the Halloween party. Just absolutely awesome. Of course, there are fireworks. These are the Minis. Merry Christmas fireworks. I might have gotten that title wrong, but there are minis, I know that. Uh, fireworks show, it's about the same. I would have to call it a draw in between the Christmas, although I, you gotta love the Christmas music, so that might just edge it out just slightly. Of course, one of the ultimate overlays is, well, the Jingle Cruise. Yeah, they, they rename this ride even. They do all sorts of things with the boats and everything else. So now here's the thing. You can actually ride the Jingle Cruise not just at the party. So is it a negative there? Well, no, I love this ride. Uh, especially they, they switch up their jokes, everything else. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, so I kind of feel that this one edges out on the, the Halloween party a little bit because this ride just absolutely gets transformed. Um, I'm not quite like Disneyland does with Hall or, uh, Haunted Mansion, but it's still really, really cool uh, and an absolute must do. Uh, there are just different jokes. There are, of course, Santa hats everywhere. Uh, it is a lot of fun and gives the Christmas party another point. Well, welcome aboard. I really hope you know what you're getting yourself into tonight. And if you don't know, let me just tell you. You're in a boat. Welcome to the world famous Janky Cruise. Another really fun thing about the parties is that you do have some roaming characters. We actually got to see Peter Pan, a lot of fun here. Uh, he was actually just outside of Pirates of the Caribbean and he spent a really long time with Little Man just getting down and chatting with him. So the interactions actually at both have been pretty good. However, I haven't seen quite the lines at the Christmas party that I do at the Halloween parties for the different characters. So I think that actually, again, yeah. might give Christmas just the edge in my book. You, do you want to give him a high five? Pirates are stinky. But that's okay. You, you look like you look. Are you a good pirate? No. Can you sing the Yoko song? You know the Yoko song. Of course, what party would be complete without a parade? And of course, the Christmas has a parade as well. We'll show you some of it and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So I really do love the Christmas Parade. It has a lot of wonderful characters, a lot of fun. Of course, it's Christmas. How could you, how could you not like it? And of course, the big man in red, Santa. Yeah, I'm not talking Mickey this time. Santa winds up with the end of the parade. The songs are great. It's fun to sing along. But overall, I don't know if it can compete with Boo to You. And one more thing a party would not be complete without, of course, is a stage show. Now, we do stay to the very bitter end at midnight for the stage show. 
and actually there are not a lot of people here so we got an excellent seat to be able to see the stage show really fun show there is all sorts of different characters and actually Mur Mariah Carey I believe it is uh, even makes an appearance and sings some awesome Christmas music overall fun show definitely want to make sure that you do it and if you stay to the bitter bitter end it extends your day just a little bit let it snow let it snow let it snow yep even in Florida at Christmas at the at the Christmas party they let it snow in Disney or at least snow one of the things that I absolutely love as you can see it kind of flying around me uh, it is a really cool effect that again the, the Halloween party doesn't have so another point but it is a really fun time to be able to do this and uh, it's just a great great time so overall what wins out Christmas versus Halloween well I hate to be the cop out but that's up to you really the parties are very similar they've got a lot of fun stuff to do either one of them we were able to go to both the Halloween party, the Mickey's Not So Scary, and also the Oogie Boogie Bash out in Disneyland. Now, you can watch my Disneyland, Oogie Boogie is better convince me otherwise. Uh, prove me wrong on that one. But uh, for Christmas party, since, well, Disneyland isn't doing a Christmas party, this one definitely wins that. But Halloween versus Christmas really depends on what your favorite holiday is. Honestly, I live where it snows. It is very nice to come here and not worry about that, but just worry about the snow. Overall, I love the Halloween because it is, well, around my birthday, but the Christmas one, really, it even melts the grinchiest of my heart as long as it's after Thanksgiving. So overall, you know, I almost have to go with Christmas. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. With that being said, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Smash that like button if that's what you're into. And of course, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when I release new content. With that being said, Merry Christmas, and we'll see you real soon.